Alrighty, fellas, I hope all of you had a great Christmas. Looking forward to a happy and prosperous New Year. We'll take another look today at the Springfield M1A. And the reason for this update is when we got to messing with the original scope that was on it, found out that it ran out of vertical adjustment too soon, so it just wasn't going to work. So I did a little research and looked at the Vortex line and came across the Vortex Viper HST. This is a 4 to 16 by 44 millimeter objective with a 30 millimeter tube. It gives you 75 minutes of angle of adjustment, which is a really good thing. Part of the problem is caused by the height of this basset mount. Uh, I went with the one you can see the iron sights under. Maybe I shouldn't have, but at any rate, I did. And this thing is really neat in the fact that the way the MOA reticle, which to me was easier to understand than mill radian, is if you know the height of your target, let's say you got a 72 inch steel plate, you place the horizontal stadia on that and it measures four bars, which is two MOA per bar, that's eight MOA. So you multiply 72 by 95.9 divided by eight, that target's 859 and a half yards away. So that's a good thing. You also have MOA slashes left to right as well to help you with your windage. Has a side parallax adjustment, the target turrets, and once you get it sighted in, you take the top turret off and you shim it and then put the turret back on. That gives you a constant return to zero. So you never go below where you had the thing set in. Really, really good looking scope. Really set this rifle off, I think. Uh, MSRP on this thing is about $720. Uh, a lot of places like where I work. Uh, in five, almost six hundred dollar range, other place between six and seven. But if you look around a little bit, you can find the scope. And one thing that helped me with this decision as well, being an employee of a store that sells Vortex products, I was entitled to a Vortex employee purchase program, which gave me fifty percent off the scope. So that turned out to be a pretty good deal. I think it cost me about three seventy. So that's to let you know Vortex didn't sponsor me on this, and probably never will. But that's okay. Uh, another good thing about this thing, it's a second focal plane scope, which means your reticle is behind your, your uh, image rectifying lens, and, and that way when you change power, that reticle does not increase in size. So you're constant through 4 to 16. Now I know they're 6 to 24. It is only constant reticle size, I believe, at 18 power. So that wouldn't work for me because that would throw you off on your on your uh, <clears throat> range adjustments. But I think it's going to work out real good and as I said it's a really good looking scope and I put uh, Butler Creek clip up caps on it. It also comes with a sunscreen too. You want to put that on there. But I'm really pleased with it and sooner or later I'll get to the range and uh, do a little testing with it and hopefully we'll make a video there. Thank you for watching. Keep your powder dry. Mind your top knot pilgrim.